Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev and the beta channels of the Windows Insider program. Yes, the dev and the beta channels are still getting the same build, the same 24H2 build, until the dev channel will move up to 25H2 in the near future. So in this video, we're talking about the build 26120.3576, as I've said, for 24H2. And of course, pay attention that this window that we have open right now to move freely from the dev and the beta channels is very soon likely to close so if you want to switch from the dev to the better channel now is the time if you want to do so in this video as always we're going to talk about what is new what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest windows 11 insider preview build for the dev and the better channels if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all in this build for copilot plus pcs microsoft is introducing the ability for you to speak more flexibly while giving existing commands in voice access Basically, for those who have Copilot Plus PCs, you'll no longer need to phrase a specific command. Just say what feels most intuitive and the computer or voice access, of course, should know what you are saying. Also in the traditional voice access app for all users, Microsoft is introducing the Chinese support and you can now use voice access to navigate, dictate and interact with Windows using voice commands in simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. Now talking about more interesting new features in this build related to the settings app, if we go into the system section and then in the about section, Microsoft has finally added some frequently asked questions, which you also have the answer for. First of all, we have, am I running the latest version of Windows OS? What is the latest version? If you expand it, you're going to see the message you are using Windows 11. You're already on the latest version. Please do check if there are any updates to be installed later in page or in the Windows update section in settings. Also, we have, how does having 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM impact my PC's performance? Can I run modern applications smoothly with this RAM capacity? And of course, it says, this capacity is ideal for most users. It allows smooth multitasking, including moderate gaming and multimedia tasks. You can run most of the modern applications without major performance bottlenecks. And also we have, is my GPU sufficient for high-end gaming and video experience? How can having a dedicated GPU enhance my experience and productivity? A GPU with less than 4 gigabytes of memory may struggle with high-end gaming and demanding video tasks, leading to lower performance and visual quality. As you can see, these are some very general questions and some very non-specific answers. And of course, Microsoft will maybe soon add some more actually frequently asked questions because I'm pretty sure that these are not necessarily the most frequently asked questions. But for now, I think it's pretty useful. And for new users, maybe users who are coming from Windows 10 or even from other operating systems, these frequently asked questions are pretty good at the beginning. Also, as discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, in settings, accessibility, mouse pointer and touch, you're going to notice all the options that were available in the old mouse properties dialog, which are now available in the new settings app. So you can see here pointer trails, you can turn it on and you can change the length and so on. You also have enable mouse pointer shadow, show shadow under the mouse pointer. It's also pretty useful and interesting. Also customize pointer image, preview and change the appearance of each pointer image. You can see here how intuitive this is because you can just change one at a time if you want. For example, you want to change this one, just click on browse and locate another pointer image that you can add and apply it to your mouse pointer. Also also, inside mouse, the enhanced pointer precision setting has now a new icon. I think that is pretty nice. And of course, all these settings are very nice to be in the new settings app. I'm not really sure if they are still present in the old control panel, but most likely they are. So if we were to go into large icons and go to mouse, we can see this old menu again. But I think it's more intuitive to look for it in the new settings app, inside accessibility, and then mouse pointer and touch. And from here, you can easily customize the mouse pointer, enable the pointer indicator whenever you press the control key, mouse pointer trails, and also the pointer shadow if you want to enable it. Also yet again, as discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, there is an undocumented change or improvement in this build for both 24H2 and 23H2 because we also have a new build for the beta channel on 23H2. And that is whenever you right click on a pinned app in the start menu, you have more options to play around or customize the start menu. First of all, you have the options to move items to the left or right to one space. So as you can see, you can move to front, you can move to right, you can move to left. And I think that is pretty useful. Also, you can create a new app folder to include this pinned app or to move to a selected created folder. So as you can see, I have here an app folder called tech and click on this and it will be moved to this folder. From what I've noticed and tested so far, creating new folders or using the option create a new app folder is pretty buggy right now. It can 
can crash the start menu and explorer.exe all together so you may need to restart it but i think these are some pretty nice changes for microsoft because you can easily move an app to another position for example move to right as easy as that or create a new folder and of course don't forget that you can play around with the folders you can rename them if you want and so on and of course you can create a new folder which is pretty buggy right now and also move a pinned app from the short menu to an already created folder there are also some fixes in this build for example related to the file explorer microsoft fixed an issue causing the see more menu in the command bar to open in the wrong direction for some resolutions and related to login and lock screen microsoft fixed an issue which could cause the login screen to crash if you clicked the sign in options link related to the settings app microsoft fixed an issue causing an unexpected amount of extra space at the top of settings system and then sound and a couple of other pages related to printing microsoft fixed an issue which was causing some insiders to unexpectedly see a message saying sent to one node driver for printing wasn't working they also fixed an issue where non-admin users couldn't uninstall printers that they'd added we also have some new known issues first of all some general known issues when joining the dev or the beta channels on windows 11 version 24h2 you will be offered the build 26120.336 and after installing this build you will be offered the most recent update available this two hop experience to get into the latest flight in the dev or the beta channels is just temporary also if you use the option fix problems using windows update on under settings system and then recovery you will experience a 0 x 800 7005 error attempting to reinstall this build also related to windows updates the toggle to get the latest updates as soon as they're available via settings and windows update is not rendering correctly and gets turned off by itself this is just a visual issue and it will be fixed in a future flight soon related to the file explorer microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing file explorer home to crash for some insiders if you launch file explorer to a different folder for example using search or the run dialog you should be able to navigate to your folders and there's also one new known issue related to the taskbar microsoft is working on the fix for an issue where the taskbar icons aren't increased in size as they should when using your pc in tablet posture basically these are all the new changes and features related to the latest build for the dev and the beta channels of the windows insider program or windows 11 version 24h2 for more information of course you can check out the article below phantom of earth on twitter or the official microsoft blog post if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the techbase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from techbase until next time have a nice day